What do you get when you had the PTZ 4E 25X deterrent camera with a T180? You get the X band camera. This model is the SDT 4E 25. It does have a T180 camera at the top and a 25X zoom camera on the bottom. The panoramic 180 camera has a 1 over 2.7 CMOS and a 1 over 2.8 for the PTZ. This camera does come in a 6C and an 8C camera. The 6C camera is a 32x zoom and they add the face detection. And the 8C camera is a 42x PTZ, 4K, 8 megapixel with a 1 over 1.8 CMOS sensor for both. The cameras can work independently or they can be linked together and used as a spotter camera for the PTZ. Both channels have IVS that you can set rules and smart motion detection. Smart motion detection can only be on the panoramic or the 180 camera if they are linked together. We'll take a look at some of the video samples and some of the auto tracking. The auto tracking works pretty well. The PTZ does have a return to preset feature either by time or after the object disappears from view. The only downside to this camera that I found was the nighttime image. To be fair, I did not spend a lot of time with the settings trying to get it fine-tuned. Both cameras do have independent illuminators. They have white light, smart illumination, and infrared. You can set them independently, so you can have one camera in color view if you'd like, and the other set to IR. Again, this is an active deterrent camera, so it does have the blue and red lights. You can set them off through the web page or through your phone if you have the DMSS app. Also, the white illuminator lights, you can adjust the intensity on those. And you can also do this through the NVR. When you log into the web interface with this camera, you can see you get a split screen. You can select which camera you want in each screen. You also can select the substream if you'd like. You can change the views side by side, over, you can have a small window, or you can even have a single screen if you'd like. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the web interface as it's the same as most cameras. Just with this you have two channels because you're looking at two different cameras. The 180 camera and the PTZ camera. You can see once we select on the PTZ camera we do have full control over the PTZ. With also all your preset functions. The peripherals, you can see you have water removal, and on the 8C camera, you have water removal and a vapor. At the top, you can see there's a warning light. You can manually set off the warning light and also set off the audio alarm. When we go back to our home page, in this module, we'll look at the AI function. In this camera, the smart plan allows you to have IVS only. On the 8C, you can have face detection or IVS. The main difference with these X-band cameras is the panoramic link. is where you'll tie both cameras together. You can run these cameras independently, or you can combine them to have them work together. You can see that I have it enabled, the link trackage, and the auto tracking is on. Under the tracking duration, you have several options. You can track the object until the object disappears, or you can track the object until the detail camera disappears, or you can do custom and set a time. 
You also can have the PTZ camera go back to a preset after a certain amount of time. Under the main and sub calibration is where you'd calibrate when they are working together. Another nice feature with this camera is under the camera settings you can see the illuminator. Under illuminator you can have your panoramic and a smart illuminator where it will turn to IR or white light when needed. There's a street light out here on this view so I select IR mode because it does not really need the white lights. If I go over to the detail camera or the PTZ camera Again, I can set the illuminator to whatever I want. In this case, I have it set to smart illumination, so if it was to track a far out object, that the IR would come on, or the white lights if it was close. Under the splicing, we could start, and it would adjust the splice of the two cameras for the 180. Under encode, we do have H.265 codec and for your substream and again you can set these differently if you'd like under the audio it does not have a microphone at the camera so you'd have to add an external microphone if you needed but this is also where you would set your alarm tone and again, it's the standard alarms for any of the cameras that have audio. You can upload your own as long as it doesn't exceed the specifications. You can see I have the panoramic IVS enabled. If I go into the IVS rule, you can see that I have it set for to appear and cross in both directions. You can select it to enter or exit. You also can add a schedule if you wanted it to be a certain time of the day. And these act as sliders so you could set those where you wanted to. I have record so it will go to my NVR. It does have an SD slot if you wanted to put an SD card. If I wanted to redraw the rule, I could press the delete button and redraw the rule if I'd like. I could add several rules. And again, I have these cameras linked together so the PTZ is going to react to whatever is set in the panoramic IVS rule. On our events, it does have video detection and we could enable that in either camera or both. We could set the threshold, and we also could set the sensitivity. Be sure to press apply. Does it have smart motion detection, again, on both cameras. On the detail camera, the smart motion detection is invalid when the linkage mode is configured. Thanks for watching the highlights of the SDT4E camera. Again, it does come in three different models, the 6C and 8C. Overall, it's a very good camera with great auto tracking and a very wide view.